there's a sample that's being sent around on a, uh, a sample piece of fretting. Fretting is a term that's used in the technical books. Uh, it also could be used as a term called pitting. We've, we've seen that also in different books. What it shows is that the gear teeth on the bronze gear have little pit marks in it. Uh, there are times when you don't see it as, as apparent as the sample that we're showing you, but that condition is caused by a breakdown of the material, fatiguing of the material. And the cause of it is usually excessive heat, excessive loading, and lack of lubrication or breakdown of lubrication. Now, there are times when old gears will show those signs in, in, in selected areas or areas that have been in a loaded condition or a loaded area. And it almost looks as if the casting or the material or the metal when it was cast was porous. And people have said to me, well, it looks like there was an air pocket in there. And all around, you'll see an air pocket where there may have been bubbles in the, in the molten metal as it was cast. And it's, it's a reasonable assumption. But quite frankly, that is a, a fatiguing of the material. Most of the time, you'll see the fatiguing of the material. And in this particular case, you'll see it because you'll notice on all on one side of all the gear teeth have got that condition. On the opposite side, you don't have that condition. And nowhere else that we cut that gear away do you see that condition. So if it's in the area of a gear tooth that's meshing with a worm, and you see all those little porous marks in there, it's giving you an indication that that gear is, it, the material of the gear is fatiguing or breaking or, or falling apart. This particular gear was out of a machine that ran out of lubricant. And it continued operating. It was a 350 foot a minute machine, something like a 20 story building, and continued operating to the point where the gear broke in half. It didn't seize up or shut down or anything like that. So there was enough clearance that even though that gear expanded so greatly and got so hot and the worm turned blue, it was that hot, that the end result was that the gear broke down its strength uh, through fatiguing and broke in half and then jammed the machine and it shut down. So again, it's an exception, not the rule. But certainly, that particular sample will demonstrate that it's not porosity in a casting. Okay. And most of the times, I would say that you'll probably experience a condition like this, not as, not as, as uh, extreme as this, but it's, telling, it's giving you a signal that the, that the material is breaking down. And certainly, some sort of action or, or a corrective action should be made. Maybe something as simple as changing the lubricant would help, OK? Because very often, lubricant is not changed. So by changing the lubricant, that would certainly help the condition. Uh, number two, you might have a lot of rocking between the gear teeth, which would, that banging back and forth would cause that, that metal to fatigue. Certainly, if you got some, rid of some of that gear play, that would help it. But um, it's certainly a judgment call. It's something that, you know, uh, that may last another 25 years. Or maybe it's a freight machine that's being loaded constantly all the time, uh, and, it's, and, and that situation's not going to change. Then I would say that you might want to make a recommendation to change that gear. Or at least go on record that you see a problem and you recommended that, uh, that something be done to the owner.